Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie and I'm the half intuitive card reader and a visionary as well. I'm here this evening to do the general monthly reading for the month of October. That seems weird saying that. 2017 for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, here we go. Let's just dive right in. What is Tarot going to bring forth of the sign of Aquarius? For this general monthly reading, October 2017. Messages, love, health, wealth, home, jobs, family, friendship, situations. Let's bring forth any messages that are meant for Aquarius. This is a general reading for those of you new to Tarot Community on YouTube. These readings are free. But they are general, so they may or may not resonate with you in a personal way. This reading is also for the Aquarius Sun. If you know your moon sign and your rising signs, please check out my other videos and check out those readings as well. And why shortchange yourself? Check out all three. That way you get a wider, broader scope of what's coming up for you in October. Maybe something in there that will resonate with you. Not quite yet. Almost. Almost. This is it. All right, these are it. I thought I was going to have to go one more time, but I guess not. Here we go. Very first card. King of Pentacles. Interesting. All about trust. This is your overall energy for October, Aquarius. Trust. Not you. Okay. In your finances and wealth, the Knight of Cups, a waste of space. He represents proposals. In your love, your health, and your your love. No, here we go with the health thing again. Your love, your hearth, your home, reunion, three of cups. Okay. Your challenges for the month of October. Eight of Pentacles, achievement. This fell into the same spot for another sign earlier that I read for. Interesting. Your message from Spirit in the final card. Is the Four of Pentacles security? That's your message from Spirit. When I've exhausted the messages from these cards, I pull one significator from my deck of tarot for the overall reading. Okay. Very first card. Okay. King of Pentacles. Of course, Pentacles being represented of creativity and money right off the get go. The key word for this card is trust. And this is your overall energy. When this king shows up, he's all about ambition. Now, this could be an energy as well for you, Aquarius. The energies that are floating around in the air. <coughs> Ambitious, trustworthy, protective, committed to projects, relationships, loyalty, loyal to the very, very end. Um, powers coming forward um, as uh, re reflective of somebody being a business owner or a leader of, of sorts. Um, so these could be these could be some of the energies that are that are coming through for you. Um, you finding yourself feeling really ambitious, and I'm hearing maybe a little bit too trustworthy. That could come into play as well. Um, feeling highly protective um, over what is yours, over what is your life as you view your life. Um, wanting things to be a certain way or not wanting things to change at all and if they do have to change you want things to lean more to your comfort zone not to somebody else's comfort zone where you're the one giving everything up and you're the one doing all the sacrificing um okay um this card also brings a hands-on attitude as well you're deeply you're going to be deeply involved in something that's going to come up for the month of october 
this card as well, if you're identifying um, as this card, if you're really identifying with this card or as the you card, it can represent love and generosity on your part, maybe not so much on another party. They're, they're, um, what you would expect from somebody to come back, the love, the generosity you put out, you would expect that back. Maybe not so much as far as another person is concerned. Um, you're feeling very, very generous, though, at this time, Aquarius. Um, and gains are going to be shared with those that you love. Anything that you gain isn't solely selfish, solely for you, but it's for everybody's benefit. That's where you're coming from. You want what's best for everybody's benefit, not just yourself. You're not being selfish about it at all. The advice is to protect what is yours and help others that you see around you that need help. And when you do receive certain awards, it will bring a certain amount of um, success. Make sure you take the time to enjoy that. Your keywords are money, protection, power, loyalty, stability, leadership, and commitment with this card. Your second card, oh, this guy irks me to no end. He always does. I call him my waste of space. But there's there's always a warning with this when this card shows up. This is the card of proposals and not necessarily romantic ones. There's the kicker right there. All right, this fell into your financial sector and I see red flags popping up everywhere because this card showed up and where it fell, where it did. Red flags everywhere. Somebody coming forward, somebody that you already know. Um, or for some, remember this is a general reading, right? None of this may apply to you. Who knows? I don't. But this person um, could be somebody that you already know, but you're not close to, put it that way. For some of you, he may come forward with offers and proposals. But here's the thing with this guy. He lives in a fantasy world. His, his intentions are never really cruel um, or out to get you. But he's always got some scheme, a rich, quick scheme up his sleeve, and he's looking to take victims on board. He doesn't see them as victims. He sees them as stepping stones to get to where he wants to be. And he, and he has a tendency to get people riled up and really excited in his ideas. If you don't know him well, that's where the red flags pop up. He's extremely magnetic and extremely charming. You know, look, he's got the Fabio. I always point that out with this guy. He's got that Fabio thing going on with the hair and the chiseled jaw, and he's dropped dead gorgeous and all that. But that's where it ends. You know, it takes more than a pearly white flash of a smile to win a smart person over, right? These are just outer things. This guy is never, ever, ever consistent in anything that he does. Um, if, if, he is, if he comes to you and he has some kind of proposal, if you think there's even a small bit of merit to what he's saying, what you need to do is test his intentions. So says Tarot, so says Natalie. Test his intentions. All right? Don't invest anything other than a few minutes of your time or a few minutes of your observation. All right? To see what he can, what's going to come out of it, if, if it, chances are nothing. You have to be careful to not fall. If you fall, it's going to cost you financially. If you fall into something, you've got to do your background work. You've got to do your own fact checking. You have to take responsibility for yourself. All right. But like I said, if you think there's any merit to anything that this guy's bringing forward to you, well, the advice of this card is to pay attention to actions and not words. Test his intentions. Your keywords are offers and dreams love, illusion, imagination, fantasy, and infatuation. Don't become infatuated. A guy like this could sweep an old doll right off her feet and you have him have her eating out of the palm of his hand. He may be that type, the gigolo type. Do you know what I'm saying? Watch your pocketbook. Watch your bank account. Double check any agreements that you need to sign to um, or verbal agreements can, that, that, that you can't back out on. You got to be real careful before you finalize any any final decisions, especially when it comes to your financial security. Is what I'm hearing. The third card is your hearth in your home. Anything to do with your heart and with love. Three of Cups is reunion. It's a good card. It's a fairly good card. Um, 
this card shows up, it usually is indicative of a gathering with friends, with family, celebrations, weddings, reunions, parties with those that love that 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 you love and those people that who love you and accept you for you. You know, maybe you're at a gathering or something, and this is fantastic because of where it fell. This card is all about celebrations, reunions, and being with the people you care about, and it fell into your your hearth and your home. So it's a perfect match. This card was meant to be where it was. That's no coincidence. That's tarot at its very best, bringing this to the forefront for you. Um, but the, the, it's showing this could be end of summer thing. We are officially now into fall. This could be an end of summer family reunion, depending on what part of the world that you're in. Um, this could be a very beautiful time of year. Maybe this is something you do every five years, every 10 years with family reunions, a big wedding coming. And if there's a wedding, it's going to be a big one, big, huge, huge celebration. We're talking probably a three day celebration with vast amounts of people being there and copious amounts of food, drink, music, good time had by all. Huge celebration for some of you. I'm seeing big family dues, big family affairs. And for you, Aquarius, you're right in the heartbeat of it all and you're loving every minute of it. This is a beautiful card for you. Um, um, and for those of you that may be open to a new love, that could go down at one of these gatherings as well. You may meet somebody new. Any projects, any ideas, any plans that you're building on, that you're creating as well, outside of all the partying, um, this could be for somebody else. Um, but anything that you're working on right now, Tara was here to tell you, now's the time to get in the zone. Tuck your head down, get to work, and don't lift it until you're done. Get in the zone. And that it goes for creativity. Let that come forward as well, but really apply yourself and discipline yourself at this time. It's going to pay off for you down the road if you do it now, as Tara was suggesting. The advice is to be carefree and enjoy the company of others that make you laugh. There is nothing more medicinal, more healing, more joyous, more beautiful than real true laughter and being around other people that, that are laughing as well. You're laughing together. That's a wonderful thing. Those are the things that really good memories are built on. Um, you remember a night and one of the first, it was a great night, one of the first things you say, I never laughed so much in my life. What a night that was. I never laughed so much. It was just fantastic. So your keywords are celebrations, friendship. There's some healing going on as well. Um, fun, some flirtations. A lot of indulgence, a lot of indulgence. I guess I sound like I've been indulgent. <laughs> I'm not indulgent. Indulgent. Indulgence. A lot of indulgence, like, you know, wine, food, levity, um, um, good times, or overindulgence and joy. Let's put it that way. Can you overindulge in joy? No, you can't, but there's going to be an indulgence of that. Um, for some of you, this is just the, this is just the medicine the doctor ordered. Let go of the stress. Have a good time. Enjoy these days, um, whatever, wherever it finds you. But as long as you're enjoying the people and the humans in your life and you're all laughing together, singing together, eating together, dancing together, drinking together, celebrating together, um, throw yourself right into it. And yes, indulge, 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 indulge. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Now, your 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 challenges for the month are the Eight of Pentacles. It's about achievements. Some of you are feeling unrecognized for all your years of devotion. Right off the top. Some of you are feeling. There's this feeling of it, uh, time invested. And I'm looking. I'm feeling years. And. In your eyes, you thought you had achieved a lot and somebody else is there and they're not, they're not your best supporter at this time. And they're trying to strip away the achievements that you made. There's your challenge for the month is dealing with that. All right. Um,
This is also the card of the perfectionist as well. This is representative of somebody who knows that details are highly, highly important in the bigger scheme of things. Details are what make the bigger scheme, which what build the bigger, the bigger dreams, the bigger, the bigger challenges, um, the bigger accomplishments, the details that pulls everything nice and tight and makes everything complete. You Aquarius, for some of you are taking, um, you're, you're very detail oriented. You take a lot of pride in what you do. Your standards are very, very high. You expect um, a lot from the people in your life, but you expect even more from yourself. Your standards are very, very high. and You won't settle for any less. That's very representative of you. Right now, though, here's the thing. Most people say, well, that's not a real good way to be. Maybe that's just a bit too much, but here's the thing. Tarot says this attitude is now going to pay off for you. Finances are going to be well off as well and going to improve for some of you from all the hard work and commitment that you've had. You're going to succeed. Another meaning of this card can be exam success for some and returning to education for others. Um, choosing to deepen your um, experience overall with life, learning more, wanting to extend yourself. I'm hearing this isn't the end of the road. Doesn't matter that I'm older. Doesn't matter that I'm too young. This is what I want to do. You're going to follow through with it. You're going to be successful as far as that goes. Um, but there's 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 this debate going on because there's somebody I'm sensing somebody on the outside that's a naysayer, and and they're kind of saying, "Are you crazy? Are you crazy? especially for the older people? You, you're hearing it from somebody else. Are you crazy? You're too old for that." What are you thinking? Don't let people like that hold you back. But I do sense a naysayer um, trying to hold some of you back. That you know, here's the fear. They're they're afraid you're going to move ahead of them and move on without them. There's a bottom line. So they're trying to discourage you to keep you where you are now and to put stopped all that foolishness. You know that kind of a thing, right? <clears throat> um, the advice of the card is you have the ability now. For those of you looking to earn more. When you start learning more and you you become certified, you extend your skills, you're building your skills, you'll have the ability to earn more. I mean, that just goes hand in hand. That's common sense. Wherever you focus your energy right now, success will follow. Please remember that wherever you focus your energy right now, success will follow. Be sincere in your intentions on anything that you do and you will be successful. Keywords are analysis and commitment. Dedication, detailed work, money, education, and per perfectionism. All right? Don't be too hard on yourself if you can't make perfect either. Your last card for Pentacle Security, and this is your message from Spirit. This is the security card of Tarot. Finances, work, relationships are happy and stable at this time. So says Tarot, able to provide and care for others sit back and enjoy the foundation that this has all been very hard won you may resist um positive changes but don't do that but you may be tempted to you know oh, i just everybody go away from me i don't want anything changing everything is perfect just the way it is just where i'm at i don't want changes but try to not resist any more positive changes because this is not where the road ends for you all right there is a future there. There is more growth that's coming. Um, so leave yourself open to that. The advice is to enjoy the calm and order. Stay open to new possibilities. Keep an open mind and continue to grow. It's kind of redundant. I just said that. Keywords are stability, finance, property, protection, balance, order, foundations, and I'm throwing in vindication. Because for those of you that have the naysayer in your life, that you can't do this and you can't do that, don't be so foolish, you should be embarrassed the whole bit, they're not going to win out. You're going to forge, you're going to go, you're going to forge forward. You're going to be the one that gets to be vindicated and say, I did it. I did it. I made it. That's a beautiful card. Now, Aquarius, let's get into your significator for the overall reading.
the naysayer is somebody very close to you, Aquarius. This is this, remember, this is general. It doesn't apply. Don't be asking me, well, who's that? It's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, if you don't say, when I say, this is someone very close to you that's going to be the naysayer, those that it resonate with, go, that the first reaction is, I know who that is. And if you're going, well, who is that? Then it doesn't mean anything to you. The message is not for you. But the naysayer, for those of you that, that are identifying with that, they're a very strong presence in your life. It's somebody that you've known for a long time, probably a family member maybe. But I'm feeling a family member kind of like once removed. So maybe this was a relation through marriage of some kind, or it is a marriage partner. Maybe um, male or female, doesn't matter. But somebody's holding you back or they're trying to hold you back. They don't want to see you grow. They just don't. They have their own selfish reasons, insecurity. Um, they don't want to know that you can make it without them. And that's the bottom line for that. Um, and you know better. You're not going to stop living and experiencing life because of somebody else's hang-ups. And when people are trying to hold you back, that's exactly what's going on. All right, here's your significator. And we have, excuse me, it's not the top one. There we go. Oh, the star. She's a beauty. And I honestly don't know if there's a reverse on her or not, but she did come up in reverse. But she's beautiful. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Those of you that know the drill, here comes the book. What a gorgeous card. It's beautiful. I'm loving it. The star. Major Arcana. She is in. There she is. Oh, there's a reverse. I always read the upright when there's a reverse to so get a better grip on the understanding. Okay. In the upright position, she means. Hope, love, rebirth, pleasure, satisfaction, purpose, and guidance. The reversed. The reverse represents disappointment, pessimism. But that's not on your side. That's somebody else. Crushed dreams, bad luck, and imbalance. And none of it has to be that way because you've been given the heads up already. Don't let anybody else keep you from your flipping dreams. This feeling of frustration coming forward for some of you. Don't let people do that with their pessimism, their negativity, trying to strip you of your self-belief and your self-confidence. Don't let that happen, Aquarius. Let it go in one ear and out the other. And I, I, I'm feeling whoever the naysayer is has a real strong, heavy presence in your life. For those of you that this applies to. Don't let them do that to you. Life is too short. Down the road, you'll be kicking your own ass. You'll be going, why did I Why did I listen to them? Why did I let them do that to me? This is my own fault. I'm not even mad at them. I'm mad at myself for allowing myself to let somebody else do this to me. I should have never allowed it. You're only on this planet a long time. You're here to fulfill and be the best human and the best spirit that you can be. Nobody here is born on the face of this earth to ruin your life or try to hold you back. That's not their purpose. All right? There's a lot of insecurity going on on the other side. You have to remember that. Thank you very much for being here this evening, Aquarius. Um, if you like this reading, you'd like a private personal reading specific just for you, I offer the service. Information is found down below this video window. In the show more section, please read through. Grab my email. You see there, I use that for everything. And you can shut me off an email and get you taken care of pretty quick. Thank you to all subscribers across the board. If you haven't subscribed, please do so that you don't miss any um, any videos that are posted. Also, you can find Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Blogspot, on Google, on Twitter, here on YouTube, and in Facebook as well under the Facebook group Bay of Fundy Fortunes, which is a closed and private group with like-minded individuals like me and like you. We don't walk this path alone. If you're looking for me, you can always find me right here. Bay of Fundy Fortunes, and if I'm not really literally right here, if you're looking for me, I can be found down below on the beach 
walking along the water's edge to hold the mightiest, mightiest, highest tides on the whole planet, the beautiful and bountiful Bay of Funde. And I've always got one eye on the tides, but it's the high tides that really, really make my heart race as I feel the energy off of them. Therefore, if you're looking for me, you can always find me waiting on the next high tide. Peace in to you. Much love. Please enjoy and make the most of the month of October. It can be such a rich, fertile month um, for personal growth, for endings, and for beginnings. Just stand your ground and hold your own. Um, and I think that's about it for now. Yeah. I'll be back in about a week's time. And we'll do the weeklies and follow the month of October week by week to see how it's unfolding. Until then, again, peace and, and wishing you all the best. Goodbye for now.